My name is Frank Mosley, and um, I'm a producer and a producer and actor in White Creek, and I'm the writer, director, producer of my feature film, Her Wilderness. So tell us a little bit about this very complex, dark, and I mean it has so many layers. How how do you describe it to people when when they ask you about it? With White Creek, yeah. Um, I, you know, I try to describe it to people as a uh, a, a quantum leap type story because it's a it's a drama. It's it's a family drama. It's really about uh, two brothers and one of the brothers wife in like a post-apocalyptic society and how they're dealing and learning about what consequences are about. Like what is consequence what does consequence mean for them? Because it's all about learning about one choice can take you down a radically different path than if you got a different way. Uh, and there's like this whole sci-fi thread in it and so it's so dense and layered it's hard to really do it justice in describing it to people. It, you just have to see it. It's an experience, you know? It really is, and, and you're acting in this film as well. I mean, you're the main actor. Yeah. What, what was that like for you, I mean, to, to kind of really delve into this character? <clears throat> what, I, what attracted me to the film and to John was that it was an idea about the infection of violence. And what drew me to the role was there's this character who starts off as kind of, and no spoilers here, <laughs> but he starts off as kind of the hero of the film. Mm -hmm. And then something happens to him halfway through the movie where... He's a very easily um, manipulated character. Uh, that's his flaw. And so he kind of becomes the anti-hero halfway through the film. And so I thought how great of a chance to play a character who you kind of are rooting for, and then halfway through the film you don't know really how you feel about this person. Yeah. You know, and then how to make you feel conflicted about that. Because he's still human, because that's what people do. Some of your favorite people make really bad choices. Yeah, exactly. But that doesn't mean they're necessarily bad. Right, exactly. They're making the, <laughs> right, right. the bad yeah. choices. Yeah. So did you do research in kind of uh, different types of societies and, and maybe cults or something like that? Not really. That's a good question, but I, not really. I, I really was... For me, it was more, it was just spending time with uh, Josh Wick, who plays my brother, and Katie Hawthorne, who plays my wife, because for me, it was very important that the three of us are the trio of the film, and that our family bond has to feel genuine, mm -hmm. and I really wanted that to sell. I'm an only child, and so for me, it was really important that, like, the bond with this brother was very real. There was a love-hate relationship there. Mm -hmm. We didn't agree about the same things, yeah. but we cared about each other, and that's ultimately what drives me throughout the whole film, ultimately to my doom, but that's what I think ignites the main conflict in the movie. And, um, give me a moment here. Sure. <laughs> Hopefully they can edit all this. <laughs> um, I'm just like really hot. Um, so tell me about meeting the meeting the director, uh, meeting the director John. You guys didn't know each other before. No. Um, how did you guys get in contact? So, uh, I just, I look at a lot of film sites and a lot of film blogs, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> I was looking at Filmmaker Magazine, and he had a column that was on there years ago, wow. like 2009, 2010, yeah. and I just followed him, and at the very end of you know his column, there's like, go to John's website, yada, yeah. yada, so I went to the website, and I saw all these great films that really were pretty brilliant, and I thought really interesting, and what appealed to me about John was his sensibility of experimental work, which is really interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And so his films weren't just normal features, but he would do these like video installation films. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this guy's like running the gamut. Like this guy like is doing everything. And it was really cool to me to see. And I was like, I want to work with this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just wrote him and I was like, hey man, um, I love your other features. I'd love to act for you sometime. And he goes, well, I just so happened to be in pre-pro on this movie. And he goes, it's about alternate dimensions. And he goes, I, le I need a lead actor. And he goes, send me some of your stuff. And I sent him one short film and he saw it and he was like, let's work together, you know, let's do it. So. And, and I was telling him earlier, you brought on some of your friends. Yeah. So I, saw, yeah. I saw a lot of familiar faces. Yeah. I, mean. I, I mean, you know, for me, any, any good film set is about good people that are all there for the right reasons. And it's about collaboration, obviously. Yeah. So it's one of those things where it's like, I know so many talented people. And here's a guy, John, who's based in New York. And I was like, you know, he's like, I can't, I don't know which actor I'm going to use in New York. I don't know any actors. I'm like, well, if you're willing to fly them out, yeah. I know these amazing, talented actors yeah. that are all based in Dallas. <laughs> so if you want to use some Texas people, I'll bring them out. And he loved them. And, it, you know, I brought them out and he had a great time with them. And, and, you know, for me, it was just, you know, you help your friends and yeah. you try to, 
you know, they do the same for me. It works back and forth, you know. So what was it like staying out there for so long and just, you know, I, I know you're, you're a busy guy. You're always, you're always filming. What was your schedule? I mean, we shot the film over four trips, or I shot the film over four trips to New York. And, uh, you know, they were shot overseas, and so you could capture the change in the seasons and the change in the characters physically, too. Because yeah. I went from, you know, being bearded and more burly and heavier in yeah. weight, and then I, like, lost weight, she had <laughs> hair, just to kind of show the change in these people, you yeah. know. Um, so it was four trips, and each trip, I'd say, was probably about a week and a half worth of shooting. So then you add those up over four trips, you know. So there were a lot of, well, not a lot. There were some action scenes. How did you how did you prepare for that? Action scenes? Yeah, you know when you you, you get a little rough. I I, I I get roughed up with I get roughed up oh, and then I rough, rough up, up and then I rough up some people <laughs> in return. But uh, yeah, I'd say um, you know Adam Dietrich and I have a fight scene together mm -hmm. and I just love Adam. He's he's a very good friend and so for me it was easy to work with him because we trust each other. And he comes from the theater and he knows how to throw a stage punch. Yeah. And he's not a method actor to the point where you know he's gonna go berserk and like actually like kick the punch hell out him. of you. Yeah. Right. So you're like, okay, well then I trust Adam. And plus I knew Adam was gonna bring it. Yeah. It's a dance. And so it's like learning the dance steps for what you do. And then for like the other scenes that I have, they're a little rough. It was all just John being a good director and telling us this is what the camera's seeing. So if it's off frame, we're not gonna see it. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it's all about what is the camera seeing and then how to like make anything that's off screen believable in your performance for what just happened, mm -hmm. you know, so. So one face that I didn't recognize was, it was her name Katie or Kathy? Katie Hawthorne, Katie. yeah. She is amazing. I'm I mean, glad, that's very nice for you to say, yeah. Yeah, so tell she, me. She, this is her first her. film. She's not an actress. Oh my She's not an actress. Really? Yeah. So tell me that story. So she is a, uh, and I, I don't really do justice here, <laughs> but but she is a, a long-term friend of John's. Uh -huh. She and Josh Wick, who played my brother, are the only people from John's world, so to speak, like yeah. from New York, the New York based. Yeah. Uh, but Katie had never acted before. She went to art school with John. Wow. They stayed in contact, and he told me the story goes. He was writing the script, and he's like, "So I'm writing your wife," and he goes, "I was trying to imagine like who it would be." And he goes, I kept going, basically it's Katie Hawthorne, so I need to find an actress who's like Katie Hawthorne. Yeah. And then finally it was just like, I just need Katie Hawthorne. I just need Katie Hawthorne. Why am I going to look for an actress? So he asked her and she was like, yeah, I'll do it. I mean, I don't think she quite knew what she was in for, yeah. you know, for a long shoot especially and all this, but she did it for John. She loved John and, and she loved the script and she became a friend and, you know, she's just, she's wonderful, you know. Does that make like real actors angry when someone to kid just kill? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> because I do the same thing. As a director, yeah. like, I don't care if you're an actor or a non-actor oh, or a theater okay. actor or a film actor. I cast you if you're right for the role, yeah. you know. And uh, so that doesn't make me angry. I, I think, uh, if anything, I think non-actors bring um, a sense of rawness yeah. that encourages the professional actors to up their game and to really listen and to be alert. And then I think the professional actors bring a sense of professionalism yeah. that then the non-actors kind of emulate. So yeah. I think they both help each other out in the grand scheme of things. Well, that was a brilliant choice. <laughs> I think so. And, and you know, and I got to throw a shout out Josh Wick, who played my brother. I thought he he was like in his own world the entire good. time. And you don't know whether you like him or hate him or trust him or not. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's a longtime collaborator of John's. He's been in a lot of John's films. Uh, but he's a great, and he's a director in his own right. He makes a lot of films in New York, so he's a great, great guy. Katie and Josh were great to work with. Well, congratulations. What's next for you then? Uh, I have, uh, I'm in post on a new short film of mine um, that was shot here in Dallas last fall. Mm -hmm. Courtney Ware produced it. Um, Johnny Marshall's working on sound for me. It's called Spider Veins. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it'll start next festival cycle. Um, and then I'm writing my next feature film that I hope to make end of next year, mm -hmm. uh, if all goes well. Uh, and then my, my last feature film, Her Wilderness, just played at Sidewalk Film Fest and is now here at Video Fest uh, next Sunday on the 19th in the afternoon. So, so it's, 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 only, it's only its second screening since we finished the film. So you have these two films in the festival? I have these two films in the fest, and then uh, my buddy Dylan Pasture did a short film <laughs> that's in the Family Story short film block that I do a, a voiceover role in. Oh, okay. but. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. where can people follow you or, or the... Uh, really, Facebook. You just go to facebook.com slash Frank Third Man, okay. uh, 3RD Man, and uh, or look me up on IMBD. Okay. So that's probably the best way to get in touch with me. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. Thank